I can't even believe we're at this moment where the administration wants to take your gas stove. Not take your gas stove, but limit what you could purchase in the future. I rise in support of H.R. 1640 Save Our Gas Stoves Act, and it's no secret this administration has waged war on American energy. From day one, President Biden has waged war on American energy, doing everything possible to phase out the use of all fossil fuels, including American-produced oil and clean-burning American-produced natural gas. Now, they're taking it a step further, dictating what appliances Americans can purchase for their homes. In February, the Department of Energy announced a new proposal that would ban most natural gas-fueled stoves on the market today. According to DOE's evaluation, only 4% of gas stove cooking tops that were tested would meet the DOE's proposed standard. DOE's proposed regulation would render gas stoves almost completely unavailable to the American consumer. The average annual savings under the proposed rule would be only about $1 over the average lifetime of the appliances, $1 a year. We're debating a proposed rule that would save Americans on average $1 a year over the life of the appliance? Folks, we got a lot more to do in this United States Congress than debating a proposed rule that will limit Americans' choices for the appliances that would only save them $1 a year? This clearly does not achieve sniff the significant savings of energy as the law, the Energy Policy and Conservation Act requires. So what is this all about? I'll tell you what it's about. The Democrats in this administration hate fossil fuels and they want to diminish Americans' standard of living. This rule is illegal and it should be withdrawn. It is not a sincere effort to improve efficiency, but rather a part of the whole government approach to target energy sources that they ideologically oppose. H.R. 1640, the Save Our Stoves Act, which we're debating today, would prohibit the Secretary of Energy from finalizing, implementing, or enforcing enforcing the recently proposed rule. It would also prohibit the Department of Energy from reissuing a rule that bans the use of natural gas, which is their goal, is to end natural gas in this country. Natural gas is what got us down to the carbon emissions levels that we've achieved. If you want to approach it from the climate change standpoint, the carbon emissions standpoint, it's been because of natural gas. It would also prohibit the Department of Energy from reissuing a rule it would clarify that DOE does not have the authority to remove cooking products from the market simply because the fuel product that the, uh, the appliance consumes. I'm a proud co-sponsor of this bipartisan legislation. I thank Congresswoman Lesko for her leadership on this and introducing this bill. Americans should be free to choose the cooking products they use in their homes and their businesses, and this bill ensures that. Households that use natural gas for heating, cooking, clothes drying save an average of $1,068 per year compared to homes that use electricity for those appliances. The rush to green and mass electrification efforts pursued by the Biden administration are costing Americans, making everyday life more expensive, all for a dollar per year savings. You know, gas stoves today, it'll be gas furnaces tomorrow. They're already talking about that. It'll be gas hot water heaters, then dryers. They're coming after your natural gas appliances because they hate natural gas. Bottom line, day one, President Biden said we're going to end the use of fossil fuels. He wanted to ban fracking, offshore production, onshore production. That's the real reason we're debating this. It's not about the appliance. It's about the war on energy and American-produced energy. I urge my colleagues to support this legislation that's in front of us today, which prioritizes American energy affordability and reliability, and it puts the American people first, gives them the choices. Let the market determine which choice they can have and let the consumer choose which one best meets their needs for their family, for their households, for their businesses as they look at the bottom line in their budgets. Because the intention of this bill, not this bill, but the proposed rule rather, only saves American families a dollar a year. Give me a break. I urge my colleagues to support H.R. 1640. And I yield back the balance of my time.